So the redneck fans in the shop getting the drive shaft fixed and we found more problems unfortunately. I was just about to install the repaired drive shaft with my excellent quality Spicer U-joints and Spicer clamper things that hold it to the diff. Except if you notice the wheels are very close to the body on both sides and the differential output is twisted a little bit pointing up. So now I'm going to crawl underneath and show you the issues at hand. Well here we have the rear differential and you can see some bent ripped off metal things sticking up. Well the same thing happened on both sides. Rust caused the clampers that hold the fiberglass leaf spring to the differential to rip off when we tried to do that wheelie. So the differential moved forward, twisted up, and that's what ripped apart the U-joints. See? Same thing on that side. Ripped. Oh well, I guess you probably can't buy rust-free ones from the auto wreckers. You can see the gap under there where everything is separated. It means I'm actually going to have to spend some of my hard-earned YouTube dollars. <laughs> And cut all that crap off and buy a new clamper setup. Or maybe throw some S10 leaf springs in here from an S10 pickup truck and just use the typical steel U bolts. We'll have to see. So today the van will be in driving condition, but we dare not attempt to do another wheelie. That'll be it. And notice the broken bolts and everything. Luckily, it wasn't too much of a problem getting those out, they weren't rusty. Sweet. And when the drive shaft went for the flippity flop and was bouncing all over the place, it separated the exhaust. I don't mind about that. It's going to sound much better. Awesome. Now to install the new hardware. And we're all set for a mild slow drive to back it out of the shop. And my damn leaf spring, spring clamps are busted. Drive shaft is fixed. She's all drivable now, but as you see the rear wheel is too far ahead. We got to get those differential clamps that hold it to the leaf springs before we can do any stunts with it this weekend. Too bad I didn't know earlier. Oh well.